God created both the seen world and the unseen world. Among God's creations in the unseen world are the angels and the jinn. The jinn are supernatural creatures that exist in a world parallel to our own. Almost every culture boasts stories and legends of the unseen creatures. We know of jinn and the unseen world because of their numerous mentions throughout the Holy Quran and narrations of our last and final prophet, Muhammad peace be upon him. The Holy Quran features a full chapter named the jinn. It is an obligatory part of our Islamic creed to believe in the unseen world in jinn. Contrary to popular belief, jinn are not ghosts in the sense that they are souls or spirits of dead people, nor can dead people return to this world in any form after they pass away. These beliefs come from ancient folk tales and fantasy. Like many other things, Islam explains the realm of the unseen and the world of jinn, which help us come to understand many modern day mysteries. The word jinn comes from an Arabic root word which translates to mean hidden from sight, concealed, invisibility, seclusion, and remoteness. Jinn were created by God the Almighty before the existence of man. Jinn are created from smokeless fire, from the edge of the fire, in fact the hottest and purest form of the flame. And we did certainly create man out of clay, from an altered black mud. And the jinn we created before, from scorching fire. Quran 15, 26-27 Jinn do not have a physical body and are unseen spirits invisible to the human eye. Whereas jinn can see mankind and have access to our world in our dimension, they are not allowed to cross the barrier into our domain. Mankind in return cannot enter their world dimension. Indeed, he sees you, he and his tribe, from where you do not see them. Quran 7, 27 Like man, jinn possesses free will knowledge, perception, the ability to understand and reason, and the ability to distinguish and choose between good and evil, truth and falsehood. Jinn also were created to worship God the Almighty and follow Islam. This world is a test for both mankind and jinn. God the Almighty states, And I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. Quran 51-56 There are both believing Muslim jinn and non-believing non-Muslim jinn. And when we directed to you a few of the jinn listening to the Qur'an, and when they intended it, they said, listen quietly. And when it was concluded, they went back to their people as warners. They said, O oh, our people, indeed we have heard a recited book revealed after Moses, confirming what was before it, which guides to the truth and to the straight path. O oh, our people, respond to the Messenger of Allah and believe in him. Allah will forgive for you your sins and protect you from a painful punishment. But he who does not respond to the color of Allah will not cause failure upon earth, and he will not have besides him any protectors. Those are in manifest error. Quran 46, 29-32